Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. This one's just a really short clip of a video that we've been uh, shared this evening, so shout out to Robbie McGuire for that one, RM Military History, if you want to go over and subscribe to his channel, I'm sure he'd appreciate it, he's got some great content on there. But in some of his research, he's come across this little clip, so uh, it's part of a longer video from the Imperial War Museum, and what we're going to do is just talk you through the Vickers MG element, so obviously with General Ironside's forces in North Russia and uh, just show some Vickers machine guns under instruction. So it's the second part of four parts that are available on the website there. And we're shown a gunnery training school, formerly a convent where soldiers were being taught to use machine guns. So this is 1919. The machine gun corps sent a small detachment to North Russia as part of the British effort there to support the white imperialist Russians against the red communist uh, army that they were fighting. And we can stop it here straight away because there's some great stuff already leaping out of us. The one thing that I'm sure you'll be aware is we're going to talk about the poster. Vickers 303 uh training poster there now we're really lucky to have one of these um, an original example dated 1918 in the collection they were drawn at the machine gun school and i think it's uh, handley reed a lieutenant handley reed is the one that's credited with this particular drawing uh, we do have those available for sale on our website so please you know go along and, and check that out we have a3 examples in stock but we're able to print it all the way up to a0 i think this original is about a1 in size so yeah it's great now if we just clear that um, a quick example we can see the spare parts case leaning against the spare parts box there with a number eight or possibly a number nine belt box we've got a blanket laid out with i think that's the uh combination tool and possibly a spare barrel laid down there as well because the gun is in um, you know in complete condition now looking at the troops they're wearing their service dress and you've got a, a sergeant stripes on this chap here he's got a leather belt there i don't i can't work out whether it's an 03 or a um 1914 pattern belt off the top of my head possibly 14 pattern it looks like it's got some buckles on the back there and then we've got guys in shirt sleeves on the right here under instruction but all wearing their uh, service dress caps as well so what are they doing well that the sergeant the instructor is showing them he's you know cranking the weapon back and pulled the lock out to explain he's then using the poster poster to show how a round is being drawn from the from the lock it drops down on the extractor and goes into the barrel we jump forward and one of the uh, students is about to get up look so he's going to go back cranks the handle three times to unload takes the belt out cranks the handle back again let's just um scroll back on that bear with me because this is you know, let's say it's a really short clip but it's great to show the detail of it so he and we're going to slow down the playback speed as well so he's coming up and he cranks it one two three times without pulling on the belt he can then press the bottom pause at the belt and the top and the belt will fall out cranks it back once more before he opens the top cover now the reason he does that is because the trigger bar that exists within here can be damaged if you don't crank that back i think it's a mistake we all make prop if we have a vickers far too often but it can be damaged um so yeah it, it just shows the sort of the skill and the technique being used he then takes the lock out uh, and allows the crank to move forward and that's it that's all we see it jumps into a clip straight away that doesn't show the Vickers machine gun so we're not going to show that um, but what I will do is just scroll back again um, all the way back here so we can have a quick look at the poster in half time so he's pointing out the lock on the poster what happens when a round comes um, is taken onto the lock and then he actually uses the right hand side of the gun picture to show how that's going to drop by the looks of it so that comes back and drops and that puts the round in the barrel this is just really interesting to see and say how he how the post is being used in the field here and then the student getting up straight away 
uh, and showing it, cranking it three times to clear the face of the extractor um, and pulling the belt out there. So it's an empty belt. There, there was a drill round in there uh, by the looks of it, um, but it just shows it you know, in, in some great detail. So hopefully that's been of interest and uh, you've subscribed to the channel, supported us on Patreon and carry on watching these uh, things as we share them. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.